Welcome to Two Minute Excel Tutorials, helping you learn to do something in Excel in about two minutes. Hi, I'm John Simbalo. This is the first of what I hope will be a series of lessons showing you how to use Excel. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Suppose we have some variable x, and we want to calculate bx plus c. I assigned x the value of 0. I put in 2 as b and 4 as c. If I click up here, I can see the equation. It also appears in the cell itself. We can see that we're taking d7, which is b, times c12, which is x, plus d8, which is c. When you hit escape, it goes back to just showing the number. Now suppose I want to fill this down for a bunch of different x's. I can grab two of these, and this little square here is called a fill handle, and I could add several more values of x. For each of these values of x, I want to have this formula calculated, so I try the same thing, and it gives me garbage. Why is that? Well, because Excel automatically assumes that you will increment these rows when you fill down. The next one has d8, which is our c instead of b, plus the right x, but it has d9 instead of c, which is blank here. Blanks are assumed to be zeros in Excel. How do we avoid this? Well, that's where the dollar signs come in. If I highlight D7 up here in the equation bar and hit the F4 function. That locks the cell reference. When I hit enter, now I have my same four. So let's do the same thing for C, function F4. Now let's fill down. Now it's working. Next is three. We have two times three is six, plus four is 10. So that's correct. Thank you for watching this video. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos.